This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Now, it doesn't matter what level of knowledge you're at, what level of experience you're at, Skillshare caters to everyone from beginners to dabblers to masters as well. It's for curious people, it's for creative people, and it's for people that want to be lifelong learners. Now, if you're thinking, boo, learning, that sounds boring, I don't have time for that. Skillshare is actually designed for busy people. It's designed to fit around you. You can pick up the classes and get through them whenever suits you. And it's actually a combination of video lessons and class projects as well. And even newer than that, there are now live classes as well with Skillshare. It's designed to be totally interactive and interesting and keep you engaged and make sure learning is as effective as possible. Most classes are under 60 minutes and unlike this channel, it's advert free. It's specifically curated content designed for your learning and your learning only. Now, out of the thousands of courses, I suspect some of them will apply to you guys more than others, particularly one that I picked up on recently and I'm doing my best to learn from. It's called YouTube Success by a little known YouTuber called Marcus Brownlee. That is an amazing course and that teaches you how to start your channel from scratch and how to turn it into a success. And yes, I know I should listen to him a bit better because my channel hasn't quite got the subs that old Marcus has. That's just one of thousands of courses anyway across a load of different topics and some other ones that I've been using cater to photography, uh, product shots as well for my kind of e-commerce businesses. There's loads and loads of bits and bobs. There's even things like graphic design, accountancy. It really doesn't have a limit. Now the exciting bit, because everyone loves a deal, everyone loves an offer, the first 1,000 people, and trust me, you need to get in quick, because these go quickly, the first 1,000 people to click the specific link below gets one month free trial. It's a free trial, ladies and gentlemen. It's a trial that you do not need to pay for. We love that. So make sure you hit the link below, because it's the first 1,000 people. So after you've clicked the link, after you've got involved and enjoyed your free month, let's get on with the video. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Lamborghini Urus. The Urus is back on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and I thought I would address something that has been commented on a lot of times recently on my channel. You guys and girls are wondering, have I or have I not broken up with my girlfriend? So, I've actually found her. I've put her in the car. I'm going to go for a little spin. Here it is then, resplendent, resplendent. This is my Urus then. For those that missed the collection video or missed subsequent videos before that, here is my Lamborghini Urus. It is in uh, pretty much balloon white, pearl white, big old 23s, black calipers with a red ring. I won't bore you all with the tail of the calipers once again. We've heard it before with this car and we've heard it before with my other one. But here we go. This is it. This is my Urus. Lovely. Lovely stuff, but more importantly than that, let's go for a little spin anyway. Little wrist check before we get going. This is my GP Freebridge. A lot of you will have seen this on Instagram before, or my Insta. Big fan of this piece. Anyway, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna go for a little drive. Ah, Crisp is here as well. Gang, gang, hello. Hello. We've just been to Starbucks, haven't we? We have. Mmm. Delicious. Are you gonna be nice to me in this video? I'm always nice to you. Good answer. Right, let's jump in then. Let's fire up then. Wow. Should we go then? Yeah. Lots of faffing. You wouldn't believe the amount of faff that's gone into literally There's just. So much faff. This is a nice little spot for us. We've gone and got a Starbucks <laughs> breakfast bagel in the middle of the day. Yes. Lovely. I'm going to this in reverse. There we go. Wonderful. So we've got lots to talk about, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, loads to talk about. You'll have to guide me on this. It's going to be a though. really good <laughs> video of this one. Really good. <laughs> I've really pushed the bar out this time. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Um, so we broke up? I don't know what I'm telling them in the thumbnail at this point. Oh, okay. Well, I have, what I did we? Let's go with broke up, it's fun. Yeah, we broke up. <laughs> Makes a better video, doesn't it? Yeah. People are like, oh good, she's finally dumped him. He was punching anyway. <laughs> Am I punching? Yeah. You didn't even think about um, that. We broke okay. up, but we're back together now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Good. Um, we're in the Urus. I just want to address the Urus very quickly because this is a car channel. Are you happy with the choice? Yeah, love it. It's wicked. 
good. It's very good. Would I have got this car if it wasn't for you? No, because it's Christine. It's a Christine car. Christine from Selling Sunset, for those that are familiar with uh, the program Selling Sunset. Very, very popular on Netflix over the lockdown particularly. She's People. just glorious and human. She's got a yellow one of these. I know, it's very cool. But if I got a yellow one, you would have told me off. You, you wouldn't be cool. Just she's cool. <laughs> she is quite cool. She's uh, she's got a level of sass that I'm never ever going to match. Next level sass. Yeah, so she bats around in LA in a yellow one of these, and I, I don't think it's got the same kind of acclaim driving around a yellow one um, around East London where we live. I know. Like we are now in East Good London. Old Street. <laughs> old Street. Is that East London? Yes. Yeah, well, I knew that because I live in East London. And stuff. Yeah. Um, did we go past an M&S? Um, we can do, yeah. I don't know if there's many M&S's in East London, but we might have to drive to West London to okay. find an M&S. Can we do that? Yeah? What do you want? I want the bagel. Even though we just had another bagel, I would like a different type of bagel. You can never have too many uh, bagely, burgery typed oh, items. Um... So, Urus is good then, it's getting a thumbs up. Is this the favourite car of my garage that I have? It's not English, but is this your favourite? Yes, I think. Um, I do still love the Range Rover because it's very comfortable, but it this is. is also very comfortable. I can't, I don't know if I can bring myself to have this as the dog car. I don't think I'm quite rich enough to have 200 whatever thousand pound 4x4 as just a car for him. Yeah. Yes, you are. Like, yes, I like, I like it. it. Um, so I think the Range Rover is going to remain maybe the dog car. I'm not yeah. getting rid of the Range Rover. I still haven't got rid of it. It's still around. The fam car. Yeah. Um, this was just kind of an impulse purchase and kind of a bit of peer pressure as well. For me? Yeah. I kind of forced into it by you. What? So, so if I go bankrupt as a result of this car, it's your fault. In, okay. This is how that peer pressure went. You know that car that Christine on Selling Sunset drives? Yes. That's me. Yep. Um, do you like it? That was you. Yep. Me. Yeah. See, I feel pressured at that point. I feel I have to get it. And that, and then suddenly it appeared. Just let me blame you, all right? All right. Just, just this, let this me have- This is why we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> we broke up over an Urus order. No. Um, I wasn't even aware that we did break up, to be honest with you. Oh, that's, that's awkward for you. <laughs> um, What's he doing? Give me the kiss to my finger. My finger is like fully in his gob though, and he's licking at the same it's time. It's comforting. Good boy. So hungry. We've just eaten. I know. Can I have some orange juice? Are you enjoying this, viewers? Let me know in the comments. You have mm. your water. You I know, but I've decided I want this no more. Lovely. Yeah. I've let all my bank cards expire, by the way, so I went to the shop and tried to pay uh, in cash. Oh, and just then, snap. And then I had to run down the road and get muggins here to go and buy the food for us. Why are you so high up? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Can I go higher up? I feel like I need to be higher up. Maybe we're just quite sure, actually. Um, so I didn't know it was called an Urus. I thought it was called a Urus. Mm. I got told off for that in the last video as well. We actually, if, you have, if you've missed the video, it was really, really good. It was actually somehow worse than this. We took an Urus through a COVID testing center and put things up our noses in an Urus. Was that in an Urus? Yeah, a blue one. Oh. It was Lamborghini Italy's car which I'm sure they were thrilled about. <laughs> um, yeah, because that depends on the adverb. You, is it an adverb? Like an and a. I went to school in 1942, so I don't know. Well, that depends, because it would be a urus or an urus. Yeah, I think the pronunciation decides whether or not it's got an an or an a before it, I think, how it reads. Bloody hell. Complicated stuff, viewers. <laughs> They look really pretty, those flowers there. Yeah, Bluebird. In East London. Yeah, Bluebird East London. It's just opened up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you enjoying the way that people respond to this car? I think it makes them angry, especially in white. I haven't noticed. But I will keep an eye out. Keep your eye out and look for the words that are muttered when you drive past. Yeah. Can't repeat them, though, because you'll blur it out in the video. Family channel. Yeah. If I swear, will you put a fuzzy thing over my mouth? And Sometimes I pick an emoji. It depends how energetic I'm feeling when I'm editing. Okay, I'm going to swear now. Crack on. The thing is, you don't even need to swear. I'll still beep a random word. So you can say... I'll beep it out. Oh. Or you can say... 
<laughs> Definitely have to blank both of those out. Think of the worst word in the English language. <laughs> Good. Um, any other cars you want me to buy? Or do you care about? What? Okay. Do you like the classic ones? Yeah. The except, little black Porsche that I got okay, recently. Okay, I do. I like the look of them and I think they look very lovely. Mm. But I do have a problem when the heating doesn't work or the aircon doesn't work. But, yeah, the SLS, the air conditioning doesn't very, work. very, very cold and very, very hot. Me. This is all quite a puff here. Try not to bump it. Um, so the SLS, the air conditioning doesn't work. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But should we test the seat heated seats in here? Yeah, I mean you can do. That's you need to you need to prod it firmly. Oh yeah. There we go. I just prodded it and Chris just farted. Um, <laughs> mommy. Mommy. He, he stinks. Actually, he the last time as well we did a video. Stinks. He farted and it stank. We mentioned it in the video because it absolutely stank. It stinks right now, by the way. It's going to come over to you in a second. Hell. <laughs> um, I had so many comments saying, you need to change his food. You're feeding the wrong thing. It's, oh. uh, I feed my dog unicorn horns <laughs> and pixie dust, and you should too. Oh my God. Everyone's a so vet. It's annoying. I know. Everyone Literally, is a vet. Actually, I have given him so many types of food. He doesn't fart constantly. He just scavengers sorry it's for again it's fine the bleep machine's gonna be off the chart today off the floor and like sometimes he gets a dodgy tummy if he eats something random off the floor it's just life isn't it yeah like he'll run he'll he'll see horse poo and like run and snaffle it before you can get there you'd probably have a dodgy tummy if you ate horse poo i'd drop so. dead if i was eating horse poo i'm sure i'd die you wouldn't die but you throw up i mean he's done quite well so oh yeah he has you rarely throws up problem sometimes the random morning six which is I know. Good fun as well. And he's been weeing in the house again recently. He has. He's taken to weeing in the house in my house. He gets again. excited and wheezes everywhere. Good. Uh, fine. I think What's we've covered up all the essentials. You? No, I'm just wondering how many. Alright, we've got to, we've got to eight minutes. That yeah, but do you it. have to crop a lot of it because I swore. No, it doesn't take up any of the time. It's oh, just. Um... Sleeping. Good. Um, I think that's it, really. Um, good video. Let's talk about what we're going to have for dinner. That will be good. Yeah, that will keep them there. That's my favourite topic. They won't, yeah, they won't go elsewhere now <laughs> if we start talking about what we're going to have for dinner. <laughs> Probably a week amazing. or so before they've even watched the video. And then we can, like, on the next video, say how it was. Yeah, we'd have to do well to remember. Because the point at which you're watching this, that dinner has been eaten for about a week. Yeah, but I've got risotto in the fridge. Stuff. And I can already tell you what it's like because I had it yesterday. It's my leftovers. It's really nice. Yeah. We shouldn't have to put up with this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, last time we did a video, one of your followers noticed that I'd had my teeth done. <laughs> yeah. Nice, isn't it? Their perceptive bunch. Was he nice about it? Was yeah, he rude? really nice. Why would you be rude about it? They look great. They're just rude on the internet, aren't they? He was it's like, oh, I said you've got your teeth done. They look really nice. Yeah, I'm getting mine done soon. Can't wait. Your yeah, gnashes. They're quite... Pointy vampire I mean, teeth. you don't want to get bit by that, do you? Vampire Diaries. That's what we can talk about. It's really good. I've been watching it. I'm on season five. I've not got into it. You snake it, though. You watch tried. it when I'm not around. You haven't tried. Yeah, I know, because you watch it when I'm not there. And you won't enjoy it, because you won't find the two guys fit. Right, well, I'm going to go and find them and kill them now. But you can't, because they're vampires. <laughs> Got me. Well, I'll bite them. <laughs> yeah, but they're vampires. Oh. Well, I hate them now. Okay. You're not allowed to watch the show. I'll break your jaw. And Damon, but I prefer Damon. I don't know who that is, so. Okay, well, that's mine. Um. Damon, slide in the DMs. I'm sick of her. Oh, please do. You're joking me. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to handle your partner saying someone else is fit. No, you're not allowed to handle you that. You absolutely are. I actually don't care. That's I think fine. lots of people are fit. What about me? Yeah, you're okay. You paused. You're not meant to pause. I you're meant paused. to say, you're meant to say yes. You're meant to say yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you look like a vampire because you've got pointy teeth, so we're in. Yeah. Do you like my um, long beard and short hair situation <laughs> upside down? No, I don't like it either, but it's staying for a while. How long? Just mixing it up. I don't know. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Feeling quite edgy though with it, you know. Do you know what we should have done with this video? We should have done a Q&A because we always say that we're going to do that and then we don't. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got any questions for us, really. 
Oh. I think we've done it already. <laughs> they might. <laughs> we've done about ten Q and A's already. When? We did one on stereo. Remember that? That went well. Oh, I was so drunk. I was a little bit pissed as well. I was very drunk. Good app. My mum listened to that. Did she? Mm-hmm. She I'll, tuned in. I abused her in it as well, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> She'll watch this as well, so you should apologise. I'm very sorry, Auntie's mum. I will not say your name on the internet. Caroline. Cara. Cara. <laughs> Did she oh watch my, my videos? Car. Or just the ones with you in? Just the ones with me in. As most of the subscribers do. Literally, no one watches my channel anymore. <laughs> They're sick of it. And I'm not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> this is probably the highlight for months on the channel. No, it won't. This will be... This is not a good video. The thing is, though, this will prove the point, though, that this will get relatively solid views even though it is honestly appalling. Well, because of the car? Um, cause of the, probably because of the car and the, the thumbnail with you in it as well. Like an Urus and a girl, like. Yeah. Tom made me take my jumper off to do that thumbnail. Yeah, because your, your tummy was out a little bit and that more skin is more clicks. Everyone knows that. I was freezing. Yeah, well. All in the name of um, your boyfriend's amazing YouTube career, hey? TGTV. God, I'm gonna look back at this, aren't I? And just think, what was I doing? Trippy. You're gonna have to crop quite a lot of this video out. <laughs> I'm not gonna crop that out. <laughs> this is so dull. <laughs> just having a moment of quiet reflection. Maybe we can, I can like overlay interesting stuff over the top. Or like pictures like of game. puppies. Yeah, maybe a little video. Aww. Are you thinking about it now? Yeah. Oh look, there's children there enjoying the There you go, the there's a reaction for you. Public reaction, some they're six... La they're laughing at it. Some six... Year are they? Yeah. Oh, these are a bit embarrassing, aren't they? It is a bit embarrassing and chubby. You got laughed at it by a um, six-year-old. Can't talk today. Um, do you remember when you went to Marbella and you captioned your video picking up girls in my Ferrari? And I, I couldn't pick up girls. And I made you change the name. <laughs> <laughs> I went so angry at you that you had to change it to like getting people's reactions <laughs> in my Ferrari. Around, public, public reaction video, it's fine. Oh yeah, I was going to say I couldn't get girls, I had my mood in the car. Not because he's repulsive, but because You also couldn't get girls because you had a girlfriend. No, but for my mood. Okay. Um, it's fine. But yeah, do you remember I made you change the name? Yeah, I think we'd fallen out about something else. No, we fell out about that. Right, we actually had a tiff, so we had to remove that. <laughs> oh, get me out of this car. <laughs> Honestly, this, this bloody East London traffic, though. We've I done know. half a mile. Are you excited for risotto? No. Is anyone ever excited for risotto? Bloody hell, I cooked it. Sorry, that's ungrateful. Oh, so ungrateful. You're not coming around for dinner. No, please, can I? No. I don't have any food. Oh, okay, we'll start. And all my cards are expired, so I can't even deliver it. <laughs> You're so bad. You just said to me, do you want to have a takeaway this evening? How are you going to pay for it? You even said a takeaway for putting up and being so patient with me. Yeah, but I've got cash, so I can give you cash and you put it on your card. Alright, fine. Yeah? In that case, I do want a takeaway. I want <laughs> that will, that will um, area tag yourself, so we're going to crop out the name of the takeaway, because people will look up where you live. Okay. The hell? Well, that's really bad. But. It is really bad. Welcome to the internet. Good. All right. A nondescript Chinese then, or Vietnamese, or whatever the hell it is. Dim sum. Dim sum. Whatever that is. I don't know. Um. No, look at the dog. Look at him. Let me show you. Let me show you. He's very sleepy. He's very sleepy. That's what I have to put out with. Oh, this is sleepy Bubbakin. Oh, I know, Bubbakin. I know. You don't want to see them. Tired boy. Tired You're a tired boy. boy. A busy day. Yeah. Busy day of doing nothing again. Good boy. That place we went to earlier, by the way, said that they could make um, matching dog beds to your car. Perfect. We were at um, D Class Auto earlier. All right. Cheers. Well, there's no one here at this point, so I might as well just end it just for doing that. Okay. If you are still here, thank you. Genuinely, thank you so much. And I will see you maybe again soon. 
if you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Which you probably won't. Nope, and I wouldn't blame you. Uh, you say bye nicely. Bye bye. All right, good stuff. See you later, guys. Please don't unsubscribe. Bye. <laughs>